Hi, everyone. Welcome. Uh, my name is Jake Unger. Uh, hopefully you can see my screen. Um, this is the first installment of our Give Sign Up webinar series. Uh, this, uh, this week we'll be talking about our Give Sign Up fundraising campaigns. The plan is to run this webinar series bi-weekly with a, a new webinar every other Thursday, focusing on different features of our Give Sign Up suite and platform. So keep an eye out for any new Give Sign Up webinars as they are um, as they're announced. So this is me, hello. Um, as I mentioned, my name is Jake and I am a member of our Give Sign Up team. I am grateful to have uh, come on board the team earlier this year and super excited to be working with our, our nonprofit partners as a member of our Give Sign Up team. If you're new to Give Sign Up um, in, our, in our team, we've expanded our team on Run Sign Up and added the Give Sign Up team to focus on our nonprofit partners um, to help raise more money and save time with some great new features such as our, our ticketed events, our donation websites, donation forms, and fundraising campaigns, which is what I'll be talking about today. So a quick overview of today's agenda. Uh, I plan on talking through a few of the key features of the Give Sign Up fundraising campaigns. We'll discuss why fundraising campaigns and why it's a good idea for your nonprofit to consider. I'll be going through a few examples of of the fundraising campaign, some different ways to incorporate a fundraising campaign, uh, as well as walk through the user or the donor experience. Um, we'll make a donation, we'll sign up to become a fundraiser, just to give you an idea of, of what that process looks like. And then we'll, um, we'll talk through and walk through how to set up a campaign, um, as well as the ease of use of our dashboard. And then lastly, we'll, we'll open it up to questions. Uh, we do have the chat opened up and, and a few members of our team um, have joined today who can help answer questions as they come in and also we'll uh, we'll touch on some of the questions at the end so let's talk about a few of the the key features uh, for our, our fundraising campaigns first our platform it, it's free our fundraising campaigns and donation websites uh, they're free to use, free to set up. There's no subscriptions, no plans, uh, no monthly or setup fees. The processing fee, it's a flat 4% on all donations. And that 4%, it also includes any credit card fees as well. We've, uh, we've also included the ability to turn on a donor cover option where your supporters, they can even opt to pay that processing fee. And we can touch on that and walk through that here in a bit. Uh, you also have the ability for unlimited campaigns to run. Um, this can be one campaign, it can be several going all at one time. Um, and our dashboard, it gives you the ability to, to track and manage each one as you, as you go along. You um, have the ability to use our, our free Facebook integration as well. Um, if you are an approved charity on Facebook, you can input your organization's Facebook URL, and promote your campaigns through Facebook. As you may know, donations that do come through um, through Facebook, they incur zero processing fee and give sign up. We don't charge for these as well. So connecting your, your organization um, through our Facebook integration, it's definitely a best practice to raise more as well as reach more people and, and save money. You are able to customize each campaign and include your branding of your nonprofit. Um, tie a specific, tie that um, branding to a specific cause, uh, to a, an event or a giving day as well. And you can encourage and enable your supporters to fundraise on your behalf. Uh, the peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, it's certainly a concept and, and best practice that has really taken off over the past several years. And our platform, it really makes this process easy to set up uh, and use as a potential fundraiser. And then lastly, reporting, having all of your data in one place that's easy to find, easy to understand, uh, as well as export um, if needed. So why fundraising campaigns? Um, I really I broke it down into to three, three reasons, connect, empower, and engage. Um, so your fundraising campaigns, they can be connected to specific events, days, or funds that are outside of just your everyday general or annual fund. These examples, um, examples of these campaigns, it can be a capital campaign, it could be a Giving Tuesday campaign, uh, it could be a sponsor a child, it could be sponsor a class, sponsor a trip, uh, or even birthday campaigns. Um, and then empower, by empowering your supporters to fundraise on your behalf, 
not only does it encourage a, a deeper connection to the organization, but also statistically it raises more. People are more likely to give or make a donation through a friend or family member rather than a, a solicitation by a, by a nonprofit. And um, lastly, engage. A fundraising campaign in a, a specific goal gives supporters just that deeper connection to a, a specific fundraiser. You're able to engage your supporters through the life of, of a campaign as well as expanded engagement of new supporters through, uh, through the peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. So I am going to exit out of here and we're gonna hop into a couple examples um, as well as demonstration of, of how to set up. So the, the first example I have here is the Guardian Angels project. So this is an example of a fundraising campaign, campaign landing page. I like to think of this as a, a great option for an organization that may just want a place for their fundraising campaigns to live. The, the Guardian Angel Project, this is a make-believe uh, nonprofit that I came up with for the demonstration. And, and this organization, they actually partner with three different schools. You have the Camden County School, the Burlington County School, and the, the Gloucester County School. Um, and they partner with these three different schools to provide services to families with children that have cancer. They, they encourage these students from these three schools to raise money for the organization. So the first thing that I'll point out is the branding in the color scheme of this, this campaign landing page. You're able to bring over your nonprofit's logo, um, to have that included. You can bring over a specific campaign logo um, if you have one for a, a specific campaign. You'll also notice I turned off the, the general donate button on this page. Uh, this will make more sense when I hop over to my second example, but really the purpose of this landing page is I wanted it to, to be a place to direct the students for these schools and the parents of these students of the schools to make a donation to that specific school or sign up to become a fundraiser. So um, you'll notice as I scroll down here, I have the some instructions that really, again, to direct those, those students and, and those, those parents to those fundraisers. And for today's example, I'm going to choose the Camden County School to make a donation or to become a fundraiser. So again, some additional branding for that particular school um, it has the messaging of where those funds are gonna go towards and help that, that, um, that particular school. You'll also notice here, you have a number of the fundraisers that have already signed up to become a fundraiser. I can either make a donation or become a, a fundraiser for this campaign. So I'm gonna go ahead and select become a fundraiser and I'm gonna choose as an individual. And let's go ahead and sign my wife up to become a fundraiser. Um, as I scroll down here, you'll notice you have the you have the donation goal. This is something your organization can preset as a recommended donation goal. And then your fundraisers, they can change that goal if they wanna set a higher goal for themselves or, or even lower that uh, donation goal. But I'll leave it today at $100 as the, um, the donation goal. You also can create your custom fundraiser URL. Um, so if you wanted to go ahead and, and enter the URL here and, and share it out, um, this link can be used to share on Facebook or, or share in an email or, or send over to friends and family members to, to make donations. And if you wanted to add some specific messaging here, so today I'm going to copy and paste over some messaging I've set up for this particular campaign. And then you can add a photo as well. So today we'll choose this, this angel finish, and then create fundraising. So great. So this is, now this is Lauren's fundraising page. So like I mentioned, she can share this out on Facebook. She can send uh, her URL um, link in an email out to friends and family members. And if your, your organization is set up on um, as an approved charity and you have that Facebook integration set up on the front end, it'll actually give Lauren that option to go ahead and share that campaign um, out on Facebook as well. Since we're using the test server today, it does not have that, that option. Um, 
But if your organization is set up with that integration, you, you certainly will. So I'm gonna head back to the donation campaign or donation website. So you'll see here, now that I landed back on the Camden County Schools, if you scroll down, now Lauren's campaign is, is added to that page. I'm gonna switch gears a little bit and move to another example. Uh, this is the, uh, the second example I'll show is the Clean Rivers Coalition. For this example, I'd like to show how you're able to incorporate fundraising campaigns into our, our fully customizable and branded donation websites. Um, you'll notice on the Clean Rivers Coalition page, they have more than just that, that basic landing page that I showed with the Guardian Angels project. Um, I also went ahead and have that general donate button at the top right. So like I mentioned on the Guardian Angels project where they didn't have that enabled, uh, the Clean Rivers Coalition, I have that, that general donate button option there. So if you wanted to make a donation to just the general in, in annual fund, you have that, that ability as well. Um, as I scroll down, um, I've enabled the, the cover page feature. So you can have that, the, the logo here, the branded banner image, um, as well as the, the Facebook, um, Twitter, and email option to share. Um, I've added the, the mission for the Clean Rivers Coalition. And then as you scroll, I've actually embedded a capital campaign into this fundraising page. So um, I like to think of this page as, you know, if, you, if you're on your, your organization's website and you choose to learn more or donate, rather than just going over to a general PayPal donation page, now it's just a completely branded experience for those supporters and those individuals that, that want to make a contribution or learn more about your campaigns or about your organization. If I continue to scroll, you'll also see I have a, um, a fundraising goal thermometer. This is one of my favorite features just because it gives that tangible goal um, to a specific campaign or a specific fund or organization that, that your supporters can work towards. You'll notice, again, as I'm scrolling down, you have those call to action, you have the donate buttons here. You can even embed a video in these um, fundraising websites. Instead of hopping over to another page, these videos and YouTube um, videos for your organization can actually be embedded in that page. Um, here I have the learn more if you wanted to pop back over to the website. And if I scroll to the bottom, you have a couple of the other fundraising campaigns that are active as well. Um, if I go and scroll to the top and click on donation info, this will just give a snapshot to your supporters of what they can donate to, the fundraisers and the campaigns that are active in live for, for the organization. So for today's example, I'm actually gonna go ahead and go to this capital campaign and make a donation. So again, you'll notice there's the fundraising goal thermometer here as well as some, some more information. But if I choose to, to donate, it's now going to take me to um, the donation page. And a few more things that I'll point out here. Again, you, you can bring over the logo. You can have a specific logo for the capital campaign, which I did here. And then I also have some suggested ask amounts. So rather than just having a field where your supporters can enter in their donation amounts, I like to steer them toward specific amounts. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a best practice for nonprofit organizations. So you'll notice here I have a $10 donation level, uh, 25. And then since it's a capital campaign, I added a few sponsorship levels as well. So for $100, you can become a bronze sponsor. And with that, um, the bronze name tag will be displayed in the center. For $500, you can be a silver sponsor uh, with a silver name tag displayed on the center. $1,000. Um, it would be a gold sponsor with that gold name tag. And then for $5,000, you can be a premier sponsor as well uh, with your name displayed on the front door. So for today, we will just make a, uh, a $25 gift. Um, you'll notice these are one-time gifts. Um, for these campaigns, I have it set up where it's just accepting one-time gifts. But on your donation page or donation form, if you wanted to set up recurring um, gifts or a sustainer gift program, you have the option to do that as well. I could make a donation on behalf of somebody or, or make this a tribute gift, but today I'm just gonna make this one-time donation to the, uh, to the capital campaign. 
once I choose that donation level and, and decide to make that donation, it's now going to take me to the checkout cart. And the first thing I, I'd like to point out is um, the, the donor opt to cover option. So I mentioned this in the, the intro slides. Um, our processing is 4% processing fee, and that covers the credit card transaction fees as well. Um, but you also have the option of, as an organization to go ahead and pass those um, transaction and processing fees onto your, do your donors or even allow them to opt to cover. So for today's example, I gave this checkbox, um, the opt to cover option. So what we found is about 50% of donors actually choose to cover the processing fee. So that would bring the, uh, the processing fee from 4% down to about 1.9% is what we found across the board. Um, but if I didn't wanna cover, it also gives me the option to not cover that, that, that processing fee. Today we'll go ahead and we'll cover the, the processing fee. I'm gonna fill out a credit card information to check out and process the payment. And then we'll go ahead and make the make the payment and the donation. So your donors will now get this confirmation um, confirmation message where it allows them to to post this donation to Facebook. So it's certainly a way for them to not only let their friends and family members know that they made a donation to the organization into a specific campaign, but also encourage others to go ahead and, and make a similar gift. Um, and it also has a Twitter email option as well. So we're gonna head back to the, uh, the donation website and next I'm going to walk through the process of how to set this up. Um, if you're an organization that's, that's new to run sign up or new to give sign up and, and haven't set up a, a donation website or a fundraising campaign before, all you need to do is go to givesignup.org and click on get started free. It's now gonna prompt you to uh, a few different options. Um, today, we're gonna focus on the fundraising campaigns and donation websites, but we also have ticket events as well as our run, walk, rides and, and virtual events as well. Um, but if you wanted to set up the fundraising campaigns, go to create a donation website. It's now gonna prompt you to this uh, donation website setup page. So it's one page, some basic information about your organization, um, the donation website name. You'll choose your nonprofit category. You can put in a, a donation website description, a brief description about the um, about your organization. You can add that uh, the logo for your nonprofit. Put in your contact email information. You also have the ability on that donation website to link this to your own external website if you'd like. Uh, and you also have the option to link it to your organization's Facebook page. So for example, on that cover page, you could have um, check us out on Facebook and have the link right to your, your organization's Facebook page. Um, you then have a few settings. You can set this up as draft, private, or public. If it's set up as um, public, it's now able to be uh, accessed through Google. If someone were to search it, they can come across your campaign that way. Uh, if you wanna set it up as private, it won't be accessible. Um, someone can't search and find this campaign uh, through Google, but you can share it out using the, uh, the URL. And then once you're done, create the website and continue. Once you finish that one page setup, it's now gonna direct you to your dashboard. And this is where you'll add just any additional uh, customization that you wanted. So you can, make it as basic and simple as that campaign landing page like I did on the Guardian Angels project. Um, or you could add some additional content, videos, the cover page cover page feature like I did on the, uh, the Clean Rivers Coalition. If you wanted to create a new fundraising campaign, all you would need to do then is click on fundraising campaigns and then fundraising campaign setup. So you'll notice this is my dashboard, so I, I have a few already set up um, that you saw in the Clean Rivers Coalition. But if I wanted to add a new campaign, um, which I'll do today just to walk through the, the ease of use and ease of setup. Um, and for today, let's go ahead and do a Giving Tuesday 2020 campaign. 
So giving Tuesday a few months away, um, it's a great idea to, to start thinking of how you want to incorporate um, your organization with Giving Tuesday if you wanted to set up a fundraising campaign. You choose the donation except um, start date as well as the donation end date. So for Giving Tuesday, if I want to make it just a short campaign that's, that's a day long, um, I can open up the donations the day before Giving Tuesday and I can have them run up until the day after Giving Tuesday. And let's add the custom URL. I also have the um, ability now to, if I wanted to inherit the website messaging from the donation website, or if I wanted to add my own messaging. So for today, we'll go ahead and we'll add our own custom messaging. So we'll make this, please donate to my, to our Giving Tuesday campaign to support the Clean Rivers Coalition. You can choose to add a donation close message if you want. You can allow public to set up fundraisers, which I would recommend um, if you choose. And you can also set up the duration of those, those fundraisers. Um, so we'll make this allow people to set up the fundraisers for 30 days. Um, actually, since it's a Giving Tuesday, we'll, um, we'll, not, we'll not have that option checked. Um, if I wanted to add a logo, so let's go ahead and add this logo, the river and a Christmas tree. I think that's fitting for Giving Tuesday. And then save. So once you have the basic information set up um, in general settings, you then can move over to your display settings. So this is where you'll add a, a donation goal. So if, if I wanted to make a specific goal for Giving Tuesday of let's say $5,000 and I want to show the progress thermometer as well. You can choose to either show your top donors, your top 25, um, 50, or you can show all. I'll go ahead and choose do not show. And then this is where you can add that um, absorb processing fee text. So like you saw when I made that general donation, um, it gave me the option as the donor to cover that that processing fee. This is where you as the nonprofit can add your specific language um, to encourage your donors to go ahead and cover that processing fee. So I'll leave the, the messaging the way it is. Make your donation go further by covering the processing fee yourself. You can add some specific donation messaging if you'd like. I'll go ahead and save. Let's go back into the campaign. Personal info requirements. This is where you can set up um, what's required for your, your donors. Um, first name, last name, email address is required, um, but you can also choose to, to collect additional information um, if you'd like. Today, for today's sake, we'll just leave it first name, last name, email address. Attribution settings. If I select this, this is where you can add some messaging for your tribute gifts. So for example, on behalf of, um, in honor of, in support of, you have the option to even add some, some custom messaging there as well. Donation use designations. This is great because you're able to add, um, if you choose, you can actually allow your donors and supporters to specify where they'd like their funds to, to go. So for Clean Rivers Coalition, I'll go ahead and add supplies as an option and research and development. So now if somebody makes a donation to my Giving Tuesday campaign, they can choose if they want their, their funds to go towards supplies or if they want it to go toward research and development. And then the last piece I'm going to add in here is I'm going to add a few donation levels. So just like I did on the cap had on the capital campaign, um, had a few levels. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a few donation levels and suggested ask amounts for my campaign. 50 and 100. 
and then we'll go ahead and save and we should be all set up so now if we go back to our donation website head over to the info you'll now notice we now have a giving tuesday 2020 campaign that is live within our donation website for individuals to make a gift you can share again share this out on facebook share it in a newsletter for your organization um, and get it out and start promoting the campaign the last piece that i'll um i'll touch on here is the reporting um so what's great is not only do you have the ability to manage multiple campaigns going at once um, but you also have the ability to to pull reports so you have a fundraiser um, fundraising campaign and fundraiser report where you can see um, the fundraisers for those campaigns and you also have a campaign report as well so you could click on each campaign that you have each donation form that you have active or um, no longer active and not only get the information from those ca those campaigns who donated to those campaigns uh, but you can also download as a csv and download um, as an excel file so hopefully today i was able to show um, the ease of use of, of our dashboard how to set up a, a fundraising campaign how to use our donation websites as well in conjunction with with your fundraising campaigns and maybe some creative ideas for your nonprofit to use um, this fall and winter so i'm going to go ahead and pass it over to elizabeth um, who's also on the line and open it up to questions um if ever if anybody who is on has any questions you can leave them in the chat um chris is also here to help um uh, with questions as well but i have a couple that i think jake and or chris if you guys want to decide sure to um so if i'm a current run sign up customer with a run sign up account Mm -hmm. can i set this up or do i have to set up a separate account well i'm sorry elizabeth what was the question if you're a current so if i'm a current if i'm a nonprofit that already has a race on run sign up um is give sign up the same thing can i use my existing run sign up account to set up a fundraising campaign for giving tuesday or for something else this fall sure Chris, i can answer that one yeah sure i can absolutely answer that one and the answer is yes you can use your run sign up account to sign in and uh, if you're a nonprofit, you can absolutely use your run sign up sign up <laughs> how many times can we say that word let's let's get let's get a tally going uh but yes you can use your run sign up account to sign in and and access the give sign up suite of products as well can one or both of you um expand a little bit on the Facebook fundraising integration that we have and how that works with the fundraising campaign. Sure, I'd, I'd be happy to talk a little bit about that. So if your nonprofit um, has already been approved for um, receiving Facebook payments, then there is an automatic uh, integration so that if you connect your um, nonprofit's Facebook page to your Give Sign Up site, uh, then you, uh, your fundraisers, if you turn on fundraising, can automatically at the end of their signup process create a Facebook fundraiser as well. And that we find not only um, has them sharing uh, the fact that they're participating in your in your fundraiser, but also um, allows them to create a Facebook fundraiser where Facebook has zero processing fees. So it's a super win for you. And we've seen it uh, really increase the amount of donations and fundraising coming in for nonprofits. Thanks, Chris. It's definitely something I would recommend um, if you haven't already gotten approved by Facebook um, as an approved charity. Certainly go through the steps with Facebook to, to go ahead and get that set up. Um, to go ahead and link the two um, through Give Sign Up and Run Sign Up, all you need to do is um, click on the donations here, scroll down to fun, uh, Facebook fundraisers, and this is actually where you'll link your, your Facebook page ID. Um, enter it in here save and it'll link the two um to be able to to integrate yep all right thank you both um that looks like it's all the questions that we have for today thanks for joining the webinar everybody we will be sending out um the recording for this and jake's slides as well um and then also some other resources about fundraising campaigns on give sign up great thanks so much everybody